Foods, a great Virginia company, uh, headquartered in Smithfield, uh, Virginia. We're right in the heart of uh, <clears throat> Chairman Scott's congressional district. I've met uh, uh, Congressman Scott several times at our facilities in Smithfield, Virginia, and again, I'm glad to see him here this evening and glad to be here. And also really want to thank Congressman Keachin uh, for his support in Virginia as well. I uh, also want to take a moment to thank our host, the Congressional Black Caucuses, for organizing myriad of events uh, this week. Um, they, this annual legislative conference provides us a great opportunity as a company to engage with and better understand the important work of your organization. So again, thank you. I want to talk a little bit about our sustainability program. Stuart Bates here uh, this evening. Stuart is our Vice President of of uh, our Chief Sustainability Officer for Smithfield Foods, uh, headquartered in Smithfield, so Stuart's in the back. Also joining them is our, our policy, uh, partnership and government relations with Holland and Knight uh, here in Washington, D.C. So Holland and Knight, thank you as well. Representatives from Holland and Knight being here as well. But I do want to talk a little bit about our company and the environment and you know why are we a sustainable company? Because it's the right thing to do. Developing environmentally sustainable practices strengthens all aspects of our business, protects our people and the communities where we live and work, and satisfies customers and consumers' desires to do business with companies with strong leadership in this area. Our environmental stewardship efforts include an industry-leading greenhouse gas reduction that spans our entire supply. We are very proud to have a partnership with Dominion Energy in this area. I want to talk about Helping Hungry Homes. Very important initiative for our company, very important initiative for us in Virginia. Uh, we work with the Virginia Peninsula Food Bank, which serves nine cities in Virginia. Feed and Water, which serves... Thank you. You got me? There we go. It serves uh, five cities and 29 counties in Central Virginia and D.C. Central uh, Kitchen. Our Helping Hungry Homes Tour will be co-hosting upcoming events with Feed More in Virginia on September 21st and with the DC Central Kitchen on October 16th. Just in case in point, Smithfield donated 23.9 million <clears throat> servings of protein to food banks, including these organizations. That's a big number. I also want to tell you, um, as of today, I know we have a truck, I'm Scott, Virginia, but we have a truck from Virginia en route to North Carolina to help feed uh, victims of Hurricane Dorian. I just left South Dakota about eight hours ago, and uh, we have a truck in route now to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, had a tornado two nights ago, and we have a truck of protein on its way right now from Virginia to South Dakota. So, great things this program is doing. Uh, education is one of our pillars. I'll just briefly touch on this, but you know, our 54,000 employees working across our 32 states, including Virginia, have great access to you know, good educational funding through the company. Um, we have, uh, Smithfield's donations have supported $3.3 million across the United States through our Smithfield Foundation. So, big pillar for us, education, and education in Virginia for our employees. Finally, I just want to thank uh, again Congressman uh, uh, Chairman Scott and Congressman McEachin for your leadership, your support, mostly your friendship, and for allowing Smithfield to be part of this very important event this evening. So again, thank you. Thank you so much, Congressman Smithfield, for your friendly um, Next up, we'll have Solar Energy Industries Association. Oh, that nice and close? Yeah. All right. Stay on this. And that's a lot of instructions. <laughs> so hi, my name is not actually Solar Industry Industry Association. <laughs> I'm Abby Hopper. I'm the president and CEO of the Solar Energy Industries Association. We have, yes. You want to know what a woman CEO looks like? This. <laughs> So we are so honored and proud to be here tonight. Thank you, Sergeant and Porter. I'm a Hogan Levels alum. I hope I'm still here. Thank you. Uh, so thank you, yes. Thank you to uh, Congressman McEachin for his leadership. Thank you to Keenan for and Team McEachin for their hard work. I'm sure you're exhausted. Thank you to the Chairman for his leadership. 
especially on uh, diversity and the work, the clean energy workforce. Uh, we are really uh, excited to partner with you on that bill. I'm going to talk probably really fast and really quickly. Um, so I don't know how many of you know this. Solar, solar energy employs 242,000 people in this country. We invest $17 billion in our economy. We are not a niche. We're not some cute little technology over on the side. We are an economic powerhouse, and we are going to change the future of this country. And so why am I here? I am here to invite each and every one of you to be a part of that transition with us. Come, bring your entrepreneurial spirit, bring your leadership, bring your interest in creating wealth and opportunity in your communities, and join us. That's the vision I have for the solar industry. That's the vision the solar industry has for this. And I'm so excited to partner with the CPC to make that happen. So we're honored to partner with you. I was on this incredible panel today where we talked about a transformation of our, not only our energy system, our transportation system, our, how we deal with equity and inclusion in all of our communities. So it's such an honor to be here. Thank you for the great work you're doing. Thank you to Tim McEachin and the Congressman and to the chairman. An honor. Thank you. Thank you once again, Abigail. Um, and then we're going to have NRDC. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to go to the Green Church. The same Is church. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> we're going to head over to the Green Church. Good evening, everyone. Good, Good evening. evening. We're not here to play. We're not here to play. We're not here. Free to drift. We have hard work to do, loads to lift. Shall not the struggle that is God's gift. Back in 2009, my brother, the Reverend Dr. Ambrose Carroll, was in Denver, Colorado. And at that time, he was pastoring a church called Renewal Worship Center. And he came across a book, and that book led him to become a fellow, a Green for All fellow. And at that time period, Green for All helped to be the incubator for Green the Church. His goal and his mission was to green his church, but it grew. And it grew to a realization that all African Americans needed to realize that greening their church was a necessity. It was a necessity for God requires us to be good stewards good stewards of our land, good stewards of our buildings, good stewards of our monies. And with that, there was the launch of Green the Church. And so we're excited as a national initiative to get African American churches and communities involved in anything and everything environmental. And so we're excited today. My name is Reverend Emily, Emily Carroll, and I'm the pastor of St. James United Methodist Church. So, as a church pastor, we realize, and, and as pastors, we realize that we have the ability to reach so many individuals. And with that ability, it's our responsibility to share the word of God and to allow the people to know that God, too, has something to say about the environment. And so we're excited about partnering and being a part of this event. We're excited to sponsor this event. And we realize that there's hard work to do. What I would like to do at this time is introduce Ms. Kim Noble. She is our program director for Green Church. Thanks so much, my we're super excited to be here this evening, and we want to just extend our gratitude to Congressman McEachin and Team McEachin, um, Keenan and your team, y'all just been wonderful. You know, when we talk about Congressman McEachin, he is a champion. He is a champion for environmental justice issues, and it's easy to love on somebody like that because he's the real deal. Um, we applaud him taking bold action on climate with this 100% clean energy economy bill. We love that because we know that it means change in our communities. After all, it's black and brown communities, our vulnerable communities that are hit worst and first by climate change and pollution. It's time we stopped 
taking advantage of our communities and start investing in them and taking care of our communities. So Congressman McEachin from Green the Church, we applaud your efforts. <laughs> we also want to let you know that we are super excited to host our annual summit that's coming up in St. Louis, Missouri, the fair state of St. Louis. All right, we got some Missourians in the house. Yes, we will be at New Northside Missionary Baptist Church, October 4th and 5th. We're super excited to be there. We'll have um, wonderful speakers that are talking about how we as the church community can join up with this environmental justice and with this sustainability effort. I want to see more churches with solar panels on the roof. Amen. <laughs> so our summit is coming up again. We are excited to be in this building, excited to be in this work, and God bless you all. Thank you so much. And next we have, but certainly not least, Nicole Collier.